How's it going guys? Zach here from Skybreed Discs. Got a review for you here today. It is the brand new second run Nerve Muse from Thought Space Athletics. So if you want to know more about it, stick around. So what I've got for you here is the second run Thought Space Muse. This is in Nerve plastic. It is considered the same plastic that the first run was released in, which is this kinetic hair here. Um, so I have, I actually bag the first run um, and am transitioning into bagging the second run currently. But uh, I went ahead and took quite a few putts with both of them, tried them at different ranges, uh, different types of putts, um, Anheuser's, Heiser's, um, even threw them on the tee a little bit. And the biggest thing I want to talk about is the actual differences in these two discs. So they, they fly very similarly. They are an overstable putter. It is a 3302. The first run, the Nerve Plastic, uh, this was the first first time that thought space had released anything in the nerve plastic it was the first actual putting putter that they, uh, we were able to get from them in a base plastic uh, the first thing i noticed about it um the profile i really like the profile for one it is similar to a luna it has a nice rounded feel it's just a little bit deeper and it fits my hand a little bit better in that way uh, i like the the curvature of it and i can really get a good grip of it um but the very first thing that you notice about the Nerve plastic is, I mean, it's it's real nice, stiff, rigid plastic. It's got almost a chalky grip to it. Uh, it's it's just a, a real solid feel. Uh, you, there's really not any, any bend to the plastic. You can squeeze these rims and you just feel nothing but resistance. There's no real compression to it. You can press real hard on the top and you're not going to get a lot of flex. You get a little bit of bend, but... It, it, it really holds holds strong and supports a, a nice solid grip also um, it's not real flexible you can't really put a lot of bend to it it's just a nice solid feel that being said you get to the second run and first thing I noticed as soon as I picked it up was it, it just immediately clung to my hand it's, it's got so much grip it's it's almost rubbery compared to the first one the first one has a little bit of a chalky chalkiness to it. it's a little bit firmer this one here actually uh, is, it has this almost a sticky grip to it, a little bit more rubbery, and as soon as you squeeze it, you can just you can feel compression all throughout the disc. It's it's much much more pliable. You actually can flex it quite a bit. It's got a lot of bend. Um, just completely different feel in my opinion. Um, honestly, I was really excited. Uh, that was the one thing that I was looking for out of the the next run was in hopes that it would be a little bit softer and i was uh, this exceeds all of my expectations as far as how how much softer i thought that the muse could actually be um so as far as putting goes i putt very similarly with both of them um i do notice that i get a lot less uh reaction off of the chains from the softer one uh it's then a lot of that is just just not so much spring back the uh the flexibility of the disc actually allows it to absorb some of that shock and it's not going to get so, such bad rollaways um or you know even there's even some that would probably have spit out with the harder one that i made with the softer one just because it was able to crash into those chains a little bit differently catch and, and fall down into the basket um the soft ones also are a little bit glidier um they, they basically They'll, they'll hold an Anheuser a little bit longer if I'm throwing if I'm you know tossing up a putt a little bit high it will be a little bit more likely to glide past the basket or catch some air under it um, it doesn't it doesn't necessarily start its finish as soon as what the uh, first run does that being said I actually enjoy continuing to use the first run when I'm you know circle two or maybe even a little bit further because I can control it a little bit better um, with a little bit more speed, I, I feel like I can stay, stay, you know, stay under a little bit more and actually put put more into it without losing control of it. 
Um, but from from anywhere inside the circle, these things here have just been money for me. And I'm able to crash them into the chains real hard and, and be confident that they're going to stay in there. A uh, real negative thing about the Muse that I have... I've learned and gotten used to is the fact that the the rounded edge that it's got um, is real nice for for grip and it feels nice but it's not so great when the disc lands on edge it's very likely to roll very likely to to flip up and stay on edge because there's not really anything keeping it from just rolling so that's something I've kind of had to learn but it's not as big of a factor with these second runs if I get something that lands on edge it's more likely to bounce than it is to just stick and roll um, a lot of that comes with the pliability of the plastic, and it's just it's, it's a little bit more more rubbery, and to me, that's that's actually to be desired. As far as throwing them goes, I had uh, a real fun time throwing these. So I, I generally throw an Envy as my throwing putter. So um, I hadn't really thrown, even, even the ones that I've been bagging, I hadn't really thrown an incredible amount. So I got out and actually was throwing these, and I was getting some of these... Some of the throws I was throwing were actually going further than my envy. I was getting nice flip ups and they were going flat, but they always had a solid finish at the end. They didn't necessarily finish as hard, but they they always would go flat for a distance and then and then finish. I was getting them somewhere around three to three fifteen, a little bit downhill, um, pretty solid for a driving putter. It's not very much shorter than what I can throw my envy. All right, so there you have it. That's my review on the second run Nerve Muse. If you're interested in one of these or even interested in one of the first runs, head over to skybreeddisc.com and pick you one up. Don't forget to like and subscribe and follow us on all of our social media and you'll be up to date on all of the latest news and information. Thank you.